How's it going guys? Today is Thursday, March 26th. Today we're going to talk about Ronald Reagan, Mark Hamill, and whatever the hell is Marvel's doing right now because I have no freaking clue. Let's start it out with movie news. Movie news! So Jennifer Lawrence, is. this is going to be her last X-Men movie. This is like the third in that first class trilogy and I honestly don't care. It's just... If you watch Days in Future Past, you seem like you really give a fuck about being there. Like, eh. Like, I'm doing it because I'm doing it. Kind of how Matt Damon and Ben Affleck was and Jane Simon and Bob. Just, eh, I'm here. Whatever. That's, that's the vibe I got from her anyway. So, I'm not really that angry that she's leaving. Hopefully they get a different mystique. Someone who's a little bit taller. I don't know. Next up, TV news. TV news! So, Bruce Campbell is going to be in Fargo. He's going to be playing President Ronald Reagan. He's going to ham that role up so much. This show was good. I watched last season. Billy Bob got a Golden Globe. I know it's a Golden Globe. Like, no one really gives a shit about a Golden Globe. So, but Bruce Campbell, man. Ronald Reagan. Supposed to be taking place in the 70s, obviously. 70s or 80s. I need to learn my American history. But, yeah. Ronald Reagan, Bruce Campbell, watching him ham it up. I'm gonna watch this season just, just to watch him play this role. It sucks that I'm such like a Bruce Campbell fanboy. Everything he does, I gotta watch because I watch every season of Burn Notice just for Bruce Campbell. Uh, and Hubba Botap, yeah, you watch that movie. If you like Bruce Campbell, you watch Bubba Botap. So. <laughs> Such a bad movie. Next up, comic news. Comic news. All right, so I've been ripping on DC for like five years with New 52, and then Marvel says, hey, after Secret War, we're gonna cancel 22 of our titles. And this is like titles that everyone's reading. Most of you comic book fans out there know that Marvel is trying to get rid of the mutants altogether because they don't own the rights to the movies. Fox does. So they're trying to get rid of all the mutants and make everything inhuman. Why would you do that? That's just going to piss people off. Because if they get rid of the mutants, I am done with Marvel. Like, done. I'm already told DC to fuck off. I have no problem doing that to Marvel. I can go to Valiant. Oh, Valiant. I can go to Valiant. Exo Man of War. Archer and Armstrong. That's what it is. But wait. They're making movies out of that too. So... You get what you wish for. I'll tell you that. You get what you would you want in comic book movies, or it's a price to pay. No more good comics. So, I guess I can go to Image, but they cancel their f***ing comic books every 6 or 13 issues, so why would I do that? I like continuity. I like rich, strong continuity. That's what I like. Yeah, whatevs. <laughs> and here we go. Everyone's favorite time of the day. Artists of the day. Today's artist is going to be Adam Witters. He does more of a, he does more stuff like homage to TV shows and movies and cartoons and stuff like that. Uh, he has one original thing that I saw inside his collection. It's uh, Rainbow in the Dark, the complete saga. I'm guessing it's a comic book series. But he focused, like from what I've seen, he focused more on commission type work with other characters like Indiana Jones and Ninja Turtles or like stuff from Korra or The Last Airbender, stuff like that. It's, it's pretty, I like it, it's awesome, I dig it. It's not as best as good as some of the other stuff I put on the show, but I like his work. I think it's pretty damn epic. Adam Winters, check him out. Watching Batman the Animated Series when you're older, holy, it's still, it's still relevant because you see like the underworld of Gotham and it's so freaking dark while you're watching it. It's like, why did I watch this as a kid? This is dark as hell. All right, I'm going on a rant. 